Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Sentel NBA Live Bowls, and I'm back at you guys with a video. I just want to say, have you ever been immersed in a video game so good that you had to go back and you play it a couple of times over and over and over? What's that number one video game you've played in your lifetime that you had to go back and replay and you still get that same feeling that immersed you the very first time? Now, I'm not going to lie, I have a whole bunch of video games that I enjoy and that I went back and I played, like such as the Medium, and I've played some some of those Borderland games, and I've actually played some uh, survival horror games like the Medium. I've actually been trying to play the Dementium on the Nintendo DS. Well, I'm playing on the 3DS, but I have it for the DS. And so, you know, leave your comments down below, man. I'm telling you, the first time that I played Halo Infant, infinite i was blown away and guys and girls i still get that very feeling that i've had when i first played it now this is the very first mission on halo infinite and i'm not going to lie for some reason the very first 30 minutes of the video game is just something that i've never experienced something that was so good i know people talked about the game all oh, the graphics wasn't good i mean the sound the gameplay the graphics everything was an a plus for me I give it a 10 out of a 10. Um, I think I already said that before in a previous video. And guys, like, so, I mean, it's Halo Infinite. And like I said, leave your comments down below. Now, guys, I know we played a lot of video games. You know how you used to go back in the store back in the day? And, you know, the box art on the video games wasn't that. It, they looked good, but the game didn't feel that way. When you first got it, you know, on a Nintendo or a Sega Genesis or a Super Nintendo, the game, it really didn't feel that good, you know, when you played it. Because we were younger, and even though we liked video games, we were kind of adolescents to the part that, oh, what is this supposed to be? What is this game actually supposed to be? Now, mm. Man, I got to drink some of this watermelon flavored carbonated mineral water. This is good, man. What is it? Source Prairie, uh, whatever. But any y'all, anyway, guys and girls, back to the video. What I'm saying is that when you played the video game back in the day and you actually got the game because of the box art. Now, box art and video games are not such a thing because of physical media. I mean, you still have cover art if you go on a digital store and you can download and play it. But some of the game art now is like, yeah. Back in the day, the best box art on the Nintendo games, Sega Genesis games, Super Nintendo, even Game Boy games, the box art was just like, bam, I have to get that. It kind of grabbed you in a sense of, ooh, I have to play this game. But when you got the game, it was nothing like that. But this game right here, guys, Halo Infinite, I mean, you got weapons, you have a grapple hook, you have a shield, you have sensors, you have a wall, you have all this stuff, and it's all in the video game. You know, it the box art doesn't do it any justice at all. <laughs> if you have a physical copy or a digital, it's just Master Chief and some like lands in the back, and you can actually see. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, the box art is good, but guys the game is better than the box art how many of us can say that for a title that we previously played and so guys when i'm playing halo infinite it's just like i'm still on my toes you know the setting is a dark setting it's like on a marine ship it's like the sci-fi space and i mean it's just like you know one of those things where you know in, in older video games it was kind of like some stuff was like self-explanatory but not so self-explanatory and this one is self-explanatory but it has so much diverse stuff that you can do and it's like hmm i have to conserve my ammo but i don't have to conserve my ammo because i can pick up the mangler or i can pick up a commando or i can pick up a battle rifle an assault rifle or a needler or any of these guns at any given time in the game and so the game is 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 hard enough where where you need to do that you know it gives you an option to do that it's not like on a level and i get stuck and oh i can't do this and i can't do that even though that might be the case in some cases in halo infinite and games such as you know a game that you're playing but in halo infinite 
it has all these things that you could do and it has you know the enemies are just like headshots and then even though they have armor you have to figure that out now you're gonna die a couple times in halo infinite and it depends on what you're playing it on are you playing on heroic legendary or if you're playing on just normal like me i played it on the normal and so i'm gonna go back and i'm playing on heroic and so i just want to see what is the difference level of you know the enemies dying or not dying um what is it quicker is it what is it you know but like i say guys i'm enjoying halo infinite and guys you leave your you leave your comments down below and tell me what games you're playing or what game have you played that you can't get out of your head until this day you know your favorite game of all time you've played it and it's like your first love you know how you had that first love you just can't you know you're still thinking about that first person like oh i really cared about this person it's like that video game what video game that you can go back now is it a sports game is it a first person shooter is it a rpg grpg jrpg like i mean what is it like leave your comments down below guys like i know some people got a game a certain game that you went back and you played it as a kid or you might have played it back a couple years ago or you might be playing it now you're like this game right here is top it tops everything over the top you know halo infinite is there for me guys like i've played video games in my past like i played wonderful video games like i've played the teenage mutant ninja turtles on the sega genesis the teenage mutant ninja turtle on the original nintendo even super mario brothers 2 which is my favorite out of the top three that was on the original nes i mean i've played games such as i could go on for days like games that i can say hmm, this game was good this game was good like resident evil 2 on the dreamcast all that type of stuff but this is probably the top game that i can go back and play at least the first 30 minutes to 40 minutes of and just still feel that same way that i felt when I first popped it in my console and I can play it. Now, I'm not a big PC gamer, um, but you know, even PC players, man, you know, back in the day, you had Doom, you know, Doom was one of those games that you can kind of pick up and you was like, man, I remember when it broke the internet, Doom was like one of those games like, man, this is, this is ready to play. And people talked about it, but me personally, I didn't play Doom until the N64 and doom 64 is probably one of the best games one of the best doom games ever made i think you know people were talking about doom eternal doom eternal is awesome don't get me wrong but i could go back and i could play doom 64 i can remember it takes me back in that spot when i played doom 64 and i don't know if it was at the launch of doom 64 but when i played it i still remember that because i was playing it on a on a real 64 and i wasn't even playing it like you know in, in my house i was playing it over a friend's house they rented it from blockbuster actually and i remember playing it it wasn't my n64 it was a friend's n64 but i still remember like man i still remember playing house of the dead i have a cousin in one of robbins georgia and i remember the house of the dead i didn't even know what a dreamcast was at this point and it was amazing guys so y'all y'all leave y'all comments down below what was that first game that you played that you wish you can go back now and feel that same way as when you first picked it up like mine for sure is halo infinite it will probably have to be resident evil 2 and i mean i just look at this game man i mean some of the stuff is like even the sound it's just like it's I think it's the darkness for me like i like dark video games with lighting every now and then and it kind of captures you in a moment you know if that makes sense so guys what video game that you play that you can go back i want everybody that subscribed to my channel all my friends all my family that looks at my gaming channel just tell me what game is it is it any sports games is it a virtual fighter is it a sonic game i mean is it a zelda is it the newer zelda breath of wild is it a game that you played you know since you was young and you were just like hmm, let me go back and play it now don't get me wrong some of those games that you go back and play and you're like oh i can't believe that i actually played this game growing up because i'm like that sometimes and i'm like man like, did we play this game man it's all pixelated you can't see it it's like oh this looks so bad like you know and back in the day now we had an imagination because some of those games like i said the box art was good but the gameplay was kind of lacking and we're just used to playing it and now i'm not talking about nostalgia you know nostalgic is one thing 
but you go back and you know, oh, I remember this game, and you kind of like it, but you're like, oh, you know, and then you play it because, you know, some people have that remorse by where they go into a game store, a retro game store, or they go into a GameStop, and it was a game they played on the GameCube, or they played it on, like, uh, you know, just any, any old system, or, you know, like an Atari Jaguar, or, you know, an Atari Lynx, or just a Nintendo, or an Atari, or anything like that, and say, man, I remember this game, and then when you actually get it, you know, to your house and you hook it up with those component wires or either you're using like S video or just the RF switch and you're like, oh man, this game is, oh, I can't believe I spent a hundred bucks on this. This is a, this is a childhood. I, you remember as a child good. I'm not talking about that. That's nostalgia. Don't get that mixed up with an actual game that you played and then you go back and play it and it still amazes you like you played it the first time, if that makes sense. All right, guys, which game is that? Out of all the games, man, from the Atari all the way up to the PS5 to the Xbox Series X, Xbox 360, PS3, whether you had an original Xbox, whether you had a Super Nintendo, whether you had a Sega Pico or a Sega Saturn, I mean, any game system, leave it down below, uh, uh, Philips, I mean, any game system, because everybody has these game systems. Some people have that, that little niche, and it's like, man, I had this game growing up, and, and it gets you thinking like, hmm, what game that I would pay full price for now that when it came out and I would actually buy all the accessories for it, a console just for that game. You know, say you want to get into gaming and you're like, uh, I don't know if I want to buy this and I, I kind of want to buy it, but I kind of don't. You're kind of on the thread of it. So if, if you, even if you're a gamer like me, if you're not a gamer, even if you are a gamer, if you went into a store and you seen what is that one system with the game and you would buy the accessories and you would buy that and you would want to relive it because you enjoyed that game so much guys all right it's been your boy Centel NBA Live Bolton and I will be back at you with another video pretty soon all right guys I want y'all to hit that like button click the subscribe button and like I said this is the first mission of Halo Infinite so guys, I want y'all to, you know, kind of check out the gameplay, man. I thought the game was phenomenal. I got a whole bunch of flack about, oh, this game is not next gen. And this game, man, this game is amazing. This game, it plays amazing. It's smooth. I mean, the great, I mean, even though I had two glitches before I actually beat the campaign of Halo Infinite, the two glitches, it was, a, I don't know, it was like out of nowhere. It was like I got stuck in a place. But, you know, I'm not talking about multiplayer games. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about a campaign or a full storyline that you went through a game, whether it's a Mario game, whether it's a Final Fantasy game, whether it's a first person shooter, whether it's a horror game, whether it's a game that, you, you know, you just played on like something like the Pepsi Man on the PlayStation or Tomb Raider or, I mean, like Driver or... I mean, any of these games, WWF Attitude, WWF Warzone, I mean, just think about it, man. Siphon Filter, I mean, Metal Gear Solid, plays all these beautiful games, man. I mean, they had, I mean, it's a ton of games, y'all. Y'all know, y'all gamers, even the people that's not gamers, you know if you went over your cousin's house or your friend's house or a friend of a friend and you played a game and you can't get that out of your head and you're like that game was awesome and you went back and you actually kind of picked it up and you said man this game blew my mind this is the best thing ever all right what game is that you know and which console did you play it on or did you play it on pc all right guys like i said before it's your boy Sintel nba live bold saying you know hit that like button click that subscribe button turn on all your bell and notifications for all your retro gaming plus nba live content plus next gen content it's been your boy Sintel, nba live bold signing off guys i'm gonna holler at y'all later